In this uh, video, we're going to talk about my favorite application of the logistic equation, namely modeling the zombie apocalypse. So zombieism is a kind of disease. So we start off with our, our usual SIR model for how to model the spread of disease. Some people are susceptible, some are infected, some are recovered. And the rate at which people uh, go from susceptible to infected is a constant times the number of susceptibles times infecteds. And the rate at which people go from infected to recovered is a constant times the rate of infected people. Great, except there is no cure for zombieism. So when the disease is zombieism, nobody ever recovers. So the total population is constant. And we've got names for the susceptibles, people who haven't gotten the disease yet, we call them humans. People who have gotten the disease, we call them zombies. And so our equations are the rate, the number of humans only goes down because the number humans disappear at a rate proportional to how often humans meet zombies. And we could write that in terms of just H because the number of zombies is the total population minus the number of humans. The rate at which the number of zombies increasing increases is the rate is proportional to the rate at which humans meet zombies. And so you can also write that in terms of the number of zombies, A times Z times T minus C. And you can factor out the T. And then you can uh, define a new, new constant, we'll call it uh, R, which is A times T. So the rate at which we get additional zombies is r times z times 1 minus z over t. And that's called the logistic equation. So what actually happens? See, here's a plot of a possible graph of a village with a thousand inhabitants that start off with 20 zombies. And the number of zombies shot up, the number of humans dropped off until after 10 days or so, I think there are only two humans left after 10 days, and they don't have long in this world. They're, they're going to die pretty soon. So let's see why that works. Well, the equations for the number of zombies is z prime is rz times 1 minus z over t. At the beginning, when most people are still human, when the number of zombies is much less than the number of total population, z over t is much, much less than 1. And 1 minus z over t is pretty much 1. So r times z times 1 minus z over t is pretty much the same thing as r times z. But you know that when z prime is r times z, you get exponential growth. So the early stage of the epidemic, the number of zombies grows exponentially. In the later stages, you start to run out of humans. The rate at which the number of humans changes is minus a constant times h times t minus h. Factor out the t. And when you start running out of humans, 1 minus h over t is, becomes very, very close to 1. So in the later stage of the epidemic, this is approximately minus rh. So in the later stage of the epidemic, the number of humans goes as e to the minus rt. We see that up here. The number of humans drops exponentially which means the number of zombies is everybody minus an exponential small amount. So the logistic curve starts growing exponentially, and then it approaches a certain uh, maximum where the amount that's left drops exponentially. Now, this happens for every logistic equation, not just humans versus zombies. Whenever you have the equation y prime is ry times 1 minus y over l, where l and r are constants. Whenever you have y being very, very small compared to l, 1 minus y over l is close to 1. So this is approximately y prime equals ry. That's exponential growth. So in the early stages, the number grows exponentially. But in the later stages, when y is close to l, well, r times y times 1 minus y over l is really close to r times l times 1 minus y over l. 
which is r times l minus y. Well, this is an equation we know how to solve. And that has a solution, y of t is l minus something that's decreasing exponentially. So in a logistic equation, whether it's zombies or anything else, first you get an exponential growth, then it tapers off, and it approaches the limit exponentially fast.